Hey guys, because I love PicMonkey and making tutorials, I wanted to make you guys a quick uh, instructional video on how to create common images with PicMonkey. Um, so just as an example, we were trying to recreate this photo today, right? Which is basically like a candid snapshot with some wording overlay um, and a partially transparent background with more wording overlay. Okay, so we're going to try and recreate something like this from scratch so you can see how it's done. So the first thing you want to do is go to pickmonkey.com, log in if you have an account or just use it unlogged in. First thing I always do is go to design, hover over that, and then I select custom. I pick 2000 by 1000 just because it makes a nice size canvas that then I can trim down later. Um, the next thing you want to do is just apply your background color. I usually always leave it white. Um, you can change it later. I come down here to this little butterfly, which is your overlays. And instead of picking one of the ones that beat, or that a uh, pick monkey has, I usually select your own. And then I go pick out whatever you know fitness picture I might want to use. I've downloaded a few examples to use. In this case, let's go with this girl. Generally, you'd want to use a picture of yourself, not some um, canned picture. You'd want to make it like a picture of you got you or your, you and your husband or whoever. Um, it's always best to use your own material than stock photos. Okay, so I really just rearranged this thing, drag it around to make sure it fits the uh, canvas. Okay, she looks like she's having fun at spin class. Um, sometimes I'll exceed the size of the canvas just to make sure that there's no weird edges. All right, close out of that. That looks good to me. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is trim this down to fit the size of the image without any extra white on the side. You could leave it there if you wanted more space um, or whatever. But Okay, so trim it. Now you've got a nice big picture. Okay, so this is great and all, but you want to be able to put some wording overlaid on the picture without the background distracting you from the words. So what I recommend doing is going back to overlays, go to geometric, and I usually pick the rectangle. Um, I like a white background, so I will change the color of that overlay to white, as well as the border to white, so it's consistent. Let's scoot this over here, and then you just drag it to where you want it. Sorry, my PC is running a little slow. And then expand it to cover this area. All right, get that out of the way. And that's nice and all, but you might not want a fully solid um, overlay there. So what you can do is once you've you know you've got your mouse clicked on this overlay is to come over here and fade the overlay out a little bit. So it's either really transparent or just partially transparent. I like it somewhere in the middle, right? Again, because you're trying to make a background that'll allow you to see the writing that you're gonna put over this clearly, but without you know distracting you by whatever's over there. Okay, that's pretty good. Might fade it out a little bit more. Okay, just as, a, just as an example. Okay, so let's say you were happy with that and now you wanted to add some text. Come over to the text, click on add text. You're gonna get a little pop-up guy here. Um, what was the thing we were trying to do? Top 30 reasons to work out at home. Okay, top 30 reasons. Gonna have to resize this and play with it a little bit. I usually center the font so that I can drag it up here to the top and make sure that it's centered within the overlay field that I have. Right, so it's balanced. Um, click on your text and then you can come over here and pick out whatever font you want. You know, I think in that picture they had. Um, Kind of interesting font there. All right. Whoops. I'm clicking all over the place here. 
Oh, one thing I should probably show you guys first, sorry. Click off of that. I'm gonna click on this text and I'm actually gonna delete it. Okay, so you saw what happened there, right? When you click on these overlays, it highlights it. When you click on this one, it highlights it. You know, and your mouse can get, it can get to be kind of a pain. So once you've got your background the way you want it, what I suggest doing is coming up here to this flatten image button and clicking that. Because now anytime you click on this stuff, it's not gonna redirect the focus of your mouse. So you don't have to make sure that you're right on, you're on the right element to edit it. Okay, so back to add text. 30 top reasons to work out at home. Okay, center that text. Make it whatever color you want. You can actually, I know in that picture they had this text was a little smaller. So you can type in whatever you want here. Maybe not quite that small, right? Drag it up here. Make sure it's centered. And you're done. Oops, sorry about that. Um, if you are okay with this text again, you can simply flatten the image again um, to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere or that you don't accidentally edit it. But to recreate the rest of this picture, right, you would just add more text fields and you know resize the size of the text to make sure that it fits within this window. Um, as far as adding this type of text, you do the exact same thing. Pick your font. You can say anything. What does it say? We love working out. We love spinning. <laughs> Whatever. I love spinning. Okay. So you position that wherever you want it to be. And then to make it crooked, like it was in that last picture, you just, whoops, sorry. You just put your mouse over this little circular thing at the top and drag it left or right to change the angle of the text. Okay. Again, this takes a little experimentation. You're going to screw it up several times, so don't worry. I've been playing with this thing for two years. Okay, so whenever you're done and happy, then you just save your image. I always pick the quality highest because if you're going to use it on the web, you want to make sure that it's clear. Save to your computer, wherever you want, and you're done. Okay, so that's how you do transparent overlays with text overlay on top of it. I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, please email me at fitnesswithbecky at gmail.com. We'll talk to you later.